It took me two years to find my calling, and it was after the horrific rape of baby Tsipang in 2002 when um, a police officer approached me and said, please, can you start a charity that will look at minimizing the secondary abuse children suffer when they report crimes because our system is very unfriendly towards victims. And it took me a while to listen to him, um, but Matla Abana was founded in 2002 and um, we are 21 years old and it's still my calling and I'm just living a calling. So we really try to help children when they go through that first few hours of reporting the crimes and mostly the kids we work with are kids who have either been raped or sexually assaulted. Um, so we focus on supplying comfort packs to them. Um, we have an education program and this year we're doing an anti-bully program with Captain Bully Buster. And then we also train police officers. So we've trained nearly 6,000 police officers in those essential skills that they need to work with uh, gender-based violence victims. We hope that Matla Obana is bringing hope. It's a very traumatic time for those children when they report the crimes and often they feel like they've been left alone and they've been hurt by society. So we try and bring hope to those children um, and we try and bring hope to our police officers and our prosecutors and the people who work with them on a daily basis. I was nine years old and we were living in Vintuk and my mom was the military camp nurse and she took me to a refugee camp where I met families who had to run from Angola and I met mothers who had to leave their children and lost their children and I think that had a huge impact on my life and that's where I just got a heart for people and for helping. If I had all the resources in the world, it's the most difficult question to answer. I would definitely change our um, profile from responding um, to eradicating child abuse, to not have any child in this world who are hurting and who have been hurt, um, and, and just have a world where children are happy and being loved. I think the most important thing is you have to believe in your cause and you have to have passion. If you have that, you can do anything. Matla Abana's slogan is a voice against child abuse. So for us, it's extremely important to have a voice and for people to hear and to give voices to those people who don't have voices. And hopefully it will give us just a stronger voice, um, not only for the children, but also for the officers of the law and all the people who work in this field so that we can share their stories and hopefully by doing so, uh, bring about change.